to imagine it. We are once again inside the Huntington Center at a walleye game. I love doing that with us. From the Imagination Station is the chief scientist, Carl Nelson. Carl, what's cooking? We've got liquid nitrogen. It is 320 degrees below zero. So it's always changing from a liquid to a gas. That's your favorite stuff. Over here, we have Dan Clements. He has some liquid nitrogen and a bottle that is gonna be filled with a little bit of water and he's gonna pour liquid nitrogen on top of it. Turns out that liquid nitrogen is less dense than water. So watch what happens over here at the end of the arena. He's gonna pour some nitrogen in and then he's gonna flip the bottle over. The right. nitrogen's gonna expand and shoot the water out and launch the bottle into the air. Now if you missed that, on the other side of the arena we have Sloan Everly Mann who is doing the same thing. She's pouring liquid nitrogen into that bottle. She's gonna invert it, and when the nitrogen expands, whoa, catch that bottle. Takes off like a rocket. You get to keep that bottle. That bottle's yours. It is. Okay, but we can do something better. Okay. We're gonna actually use a two liter bottle. Go ahead and hold that for me. What we're gonna do, is we're gonna take a two liter bottle. We're gonna take a trash can. We're gonna take a bucket filled with warm water. Tony, take the bottle, cap off that. Okay. I'll try not to hit you with the liquid nitrogen. Don't hit me with it, it's cold. Here's the deal, I'm gonna pour the nitrogen in, you're gonna pick up that trash can. I'm gonna fill this with nitrogen, I'm gonna cap it. The nitrogen is gonna expand, build up over 300 PSI of pressure inside the bottle, the bottle's gonna burst. But the bottle's gonna safely burst inside this five gallon bucket. Your job and your only job, Tony, is to put the trash can on top of the blue bucket. I will try. Okay. Now, basically, you had to take this show on the road because this is too big. We had to come inside of the it Huntington is. Center it is. to and illustrate. When these things reach the ceiling, it's truly amazing. So, okay. here we go. Pick up your bucket. Get ready. All in the name of science, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to cap this really tight, drop it in there. You're going to put the bucket on top. Did I do it? You did fine. Okay, good. Now, we're going to listen for the countdown Three, in, no, five. Five, five <laughs> four, three, two, one, zero. Look out! You get to keep that bucket. It's yours. All right, get over here. All right, that was amazing, wasn't it? That thing nearly hit the ceiling. <laughs> Should we do it again? Let's do it again! Should we do it? Two times. Let's do three. three times. Let's do three buckets. These guys down here are going to do the same thing. Tony, grab this bucket. We're going to put it right in the middle. Grab your trash can. Now remember, this is all for education's sake. We are learning here. Right, Anthony? You got it? OK, we, we actually are learning. This is really cool, because this gas is actually vaporizing. This liquid nitrogen is expanding almost 800 times in volume. And a lot of times when we do this demonstration, people will say, fill the entire container up. It'll be a bigger explosion. Yeah, Not probably. really. You don't need to fill the whole thing up. You just need to get enough in there that it can expand by And we also want times. to remind you to head on down to the Imagination Station where they conduct experiments that are similar to this, but not exactly the same. Okay, I think Dan is ready down there, and Sloan and oh, is ready down there. I'm going to cap this tightly. Put it in there, you put the barrel on, and let's walk away. Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, you also saw what happened up. before. We gotta wait a few seconds here. And maybe five, four, three, two, one. Right. Success! All right. That's it. Go to the imagination station and go.